All right, we've been telling you about it. Today is the day. It is no longer legal to hold your phone up to your ear and make a phone call while driving. Indiana's hands-free driving law went into effect today. Now, you can still talk on your phone while you drive, but you'll have to use your Bluetooth. The only exception here is if you're calling 911 for a true emergency. We talked to an Indiana State Police trooper about what to expect if you're caught violating the law. The state police does not issue verbal warnings. We issue warnings in the, in the form of a written warning. So we're going to use this, this time period for the foreseeable future as an education period, coupled with enforcement. Now, a written warning is an enforcement tool that we do offer. So our, our goal is not only to educate the public, but also at the same time, try to gear that behavior away from using the phone in their hands. All right, keep in mind, if you do break the law, you could face a fine of $500. A Luke Greenwood family lost their nine-year-old son nearly four years ago when he was killed by a distracted driver using a phone in a car. Yeah, the family of Logan Shear helped push for this new hands-free driving law that took effect in Indiana today. And our Rich and I talked with Logan's parents about how this law can create safer driving habits. <laughs> Logan Shear loved being on the beach. <laughs> Logan's family cherishes those memories from a life that ended September 15, 2016 in a traffic jam on a Florida interstate. Logan died when a driver looking at his phone never saw the backup and slammed into the family's SUV. We don't want anybody else to have to walk in the shoes that, that, that we do. We wouldn't wish this on our worst enemy. For lack of a better way to put it, it's hell to continue taking the steps forward. One step forward is Indiana's new hands-free driving law, making it illegal to drive while holding a mobile device. It's a first step. There are things that need to be added to this law in future sessions to strengthen it. But Indiana going hands-free is a huge, huge deal. The Shear family moved to Greenwood three years ago. They started the Living for Logan Foundation to eliminate distracted driving through education and legislation. If it is enforceable, then that is going to make people stop and it's going to make them think, and especially with a $500 fine. The Shears warn against putting your phone in the cup holder or on the console where you'll be looking down to see it. If you need to see the screen, mount the phone on the dashboard or up at eye level where you can keep your eyes on the road. And once you start moving, don't touch your phone. If it's still going to tempt you, even if it's up on your dashboard, turn it off, put it away, you know, enable the do not disturb because that's going to be the best thing to keep the temptation away. Say hi. The Shears added baby Mila to their family last year. Mallory is almost nine now, the same age when they lost Logan. The family hopes the boy missing from this photo keeps you from distracted driving. Now, the Shira family is still waiting for the trial of the man accused of causing that crash that killed Logan. He could face up to 30 years in prison if convicted on all of the charges, including vehicular homicide.